Welcome everyone to Nikki and Les Books. Nikki here and today we have a bookish box to unbox. This should be the October adult bookish box. Again, this is from 2023 because we are currently in February of 2024. So bookish box is behind. They are trying to catch up and we'll see if they do. Keeping my fingers crossed that they do because it would be really nice to actually get our boxes the month that they're supposed to come. So we'll see how the next month goes. Maybe you'll be seeing me a lot because we'll have a ton of unboxings to do all at once. I'm starting to feel a little overwhelmed because I'm trying to get my Crescent City book two recap done and I keep having to do these unboxing videos, which is still a lot of fun, but I'm like, I need to get that recap done. And I'm currently reading a book from Paige and Wick and then I still have the Young Adult October Bookish Box book to read and now I'm gonna have also the adult October bookish box book to read and God knows if I'm going to get another bookish box in the next week or two. So feeling, feeling a little overwhelmed, but it will be all good once we're all caught up in bookish box because we'll kind of go back to a normal groove. So let's go ahead and get into our box. Before we get into the items, of course, we need to go through our newsletter. The first page is going to be the usual welcome to bookish box. Here are your choices and options. Just in case you did not know, bookish box has the option to do book only book and goodies which is what I do and then book goodies and t-shirt which is not what I do so I have everything except the shirt and that's just a personal preference I just don't want to have a bunch of shirts because I don't always wear t-shirts then it goes into the items from the young adult box because it is one newsletter for both the adult and young adult bookish boxes if you're interested in knowing what came in the young adult October box go ahead and go to my channel and check out my unboxing video for the Young Adult October 2023 Bookish Box Unboxing. Then it does get into the items in our adult box, this box, and I'll be reading the item descriptions for every item as I reveal them in this video. Some fun things that they include in the newsletter is the Spotify playlist. However, it is just one playlist for both boxes. I kind of wish that they did two separate Spotify playlists, but I'm still excited to have a Spotify playlist. Last time I checked though, this playlist was still on lockdown. So I'm hoping that they've unlocked it since I've gotten the young adult box, but if they haven't, that's gonna be a huge bummer. Next, they have a little quiz. Uh, which quadrant would you be in if you were in the fourth wing universe? Sadly, I am not a dragon writer. I am definitely a scribe. They then have information about their social media team. And then lastly, they include some information about their social media fam and how you can get reward points. So that wraps up our newsletter. The only thing we need to know is, of course, the theme for our box this month. And our theme for the adult October 2023 bookish box is Forbidden Fruit. So the first item is Salt Kiss Inspired Hand Lotion. And we're going to go ahead and open this up and check it out. Okay, and here is our hand lotion. It does come in a pretty cool tube. I like the cap, but that means it sadly doesn't stand up right, which is better because then it allows all the lotion to come to the bottom, especially when you're at the last drags of it, but totally okay. So here is our Salt Kiss Inspired Hand Lotion, and it says Cornish Kisses, Honeysuckle and Jasmine, inspired by Salt Kiss by Sierra Simone, which loves Sierra Simone, but I have not had the pleasure of reading Salt Kiss yet. So soften your hands with this honeysuckle and jasmine scented hand lotion inspired by Sierra Simone Salt Kiss, designed by At The Bookish Box. I'm gonna go ahead and try some on and see how that scent is. So it's not very thick. I prefer thicker lotions. This seems to be very watery, which makes sense. I think the first ingredient is aqua. Yeah, so the first ingredient is water. So that's what makes sense of why it's so watery. I do like the fact that they have a full list of the ingredients as they should, especially if you're putting something on your skin. They also include a date made and then expiration date, which this doesn't expire until 2026, so we're all good. So not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of floral scents, so I'm really like, oh my God, it's Jasmine, am I gonna like this? So I will say it's not my favorite scent because I don't like florals. So if you like floral, you might really love this. However, it is a very delicate scent, so even holding my hands out in front of me, I cannot smell this. I really have to kind of get close to my hand to smell it. So that's what I like about it is that I'm like, even though I'm not crazy about the scent, it's not overwhelming, it's delicate, and there's gonna be probably a lot of people who like the smell. I like it simply because it's not overpowering, so I will definitely be using this. It did seem to soften my hands, but it doesn't feel very 
greasy and it doesn't feel like anything's left on my hands, which I do like that also. Next we have an enamel bookmark and it says the Bonds That Tie series inspired enamel chain bookmark. Let's go ahead and open it up to see all the details. Here is that bookmark and it says the Bonds That Tie. I really like it when bookmarks that are inspired by books actually have the book title on the bookmark because once I take the bookmark out of its packaging, probably not going to remember what book series it's inspired from unless it's like very, very obvious. You know, it's really hard sometimes to determine where a bookmark is inspired from, so I like the fact that they have the title. This month, we're offering five different floral enamel chain bookmarks inspired by the Bonds That Tie series by Jay Bree. It's a surprise which one you'll unbox, but we promise it will be a beautiful addition to your collection. Which flower did you receive? Oleander, Daffodil, Poppy, Amaryllis, or Dahlia? designed by at the bookish box so i actually really like that that they did five different ones however i have no idea which one this is supposed to be i'm not familiar enough with any of those flowers to say that this one is one or the other i'm gonna have to look up these different flowers and see how they look like and try to match the flower the options again are oleander daffodil poppy amaryllis or dahlia I will say that I binge read the Bonds That Tie series. So if you are into reverse harems, highly suggest the Bonds That Tie if you have not read it. Obviously check trigger warnings. Anytime I suggest an adult book, check trigger warnings. I'm someone who the longer the trigger warning list, the more interested I'm in a book. So check trigger warnings, but I really like the Bonds That Tie. It's not the greatest writing. The plot's not fantastic, but the dynamics between her and her men is just chef's kiss. Absolutely love the bonds that tie and I did actually like the world like I kind of liked the concept I just don't think it was as good as it could have been and be prepared that book one doesn't really have any romance in it it's not until book two that you really start seeing those dynamics come forth between the female main character and the male main characters next we have the serpent and the wings of night inspired jewelry book and here is that jewelry book so we have the snake and the dagger and then wings on the back it's very pretty love the gold details and then of course the inside is where you can have your earrings or even run a necklace through the holes if you want to I've used one of these in the past for earrings and I'm so happy I got this because I desperately need this I don't really have a place to hang up my earrings that aren't dingle and have hooks in my jewelry cabinet so having this book and I can place it on one of the shelves in the jewelry cabinet it's gonna be super helpful this jewelry book inspired by Carissa Broadbent's The Serpent in the Wings of Night is perfect for storing your jewelry while you travel or display your favorite bookish pins designed by At The Bookish Box. And oh my god, I never thought of using one of these for the pins. I might actually use this for my pin collection because I have literally been trying to figure out the best way to deal with displaying some of my pins because I just have a bunch in a drawer right now they're not being displayed, not being used because I don't know what to do with them. So maybe, maybe I kind of want to use this for jewelry, but we'll see. I'll figure it out. Next, we have a Court of Silver Flames inspired T10. And oh my gosh, I love, love this. This is so pretty. So it says the House of Wind, a Court of Silver Flames at the top, house made tea. So it's a very pretty design. It's a nice big jar. T10, presenting our House of Wind T10, inspired by Sarah J. Moss's A Court of Silver Flames. Fill it with your favorite tea to brew in preparation for your next read. Artwork by At The Bookish Box. Absolutely love this. This is so fun and perfect because I need a place to store my tea. And last bookish item we have, of course, is our Book Bay, which was the collection that they did in 2023. And it says it's Rowan. Remember to take off the film that is supposed to come off. So here is Rowan. This character, of course, is the male main character from Sarah J. Moss's Throne of Glass series. If you guys have not read Throne of Glass, highly recommend. And if you're going to get into the Sarah J. Moss universe, I actually recommend starting with Throne of Glass. Pocket Book Bay. Introducing the 10th Book Bay in our 2023 Pocket Book Bay collection. Rowan from Sarah J. Moss's Throne of Glass series. These collectible pocket book bays are perfect for display or to be used as bookmarks. 
designed by the talented at Fern and Amaya. Personally, I'm using these as bookmarks. I don't really display these. My bookshelves are really kind of stuffed with books. I don't have a ton of room to display stuff, so I am using these as bookmarks. Before moving on to our main event, which is, of course, the book, we need to talk about the items in this box, and this box is Chef's Kiss. So this is why I love Bookish Box, and it's been a while since they've had such a stellar box, but every single item in this box is useful to me, and I liked it. So the book tin, glorious. The jewelry book, perfect. The hand lotion, not crazy about the scent, but it's really not that bad. And it was really nice quality lotion on my skin. So the hand lotion is fantastic. And that enamel bookmark, absolutely stunning. And I think it's a lot of fun that they did different designs. So you might have a different one than I do. And I would love to hear about which one you got. Personally, my favorite in this box is probably the tea tin, but closely followed by the enamel chain bookmark and then the jewelry book the lotion, the pocket book bait even, because it's Rowan, book boyfriend for sure. Absolutely love this box, and I hope they keep killing it like they did in this box. And our book this month is Salt Kiss by Sierra Simone. So the hand lotion in our box was inspired by this book, and I'm so happy because I love Sierra Simone. I've only had the pleasure of reading Priest, but it was glorious. I want to read everything this author writes, so very excited to have this book. Let's go ahead and find out what it's about. Tristan Thomas is lost. After leaving the army, the young former soldier is in limbo. Until that is, he's hired by Mark Trevina, the owner of Lionessi, DC's ultra secret club, to be Mark's new bodyguard. He's drawn into Mark's dark, seductive world of power and desire and slowly drawn to Mark himself. Even though Mark is everything, Tristan knows he shouldn't want. Cruel and wicked, and shamelessly amoral. But protecting Mark isn't Tristan's only duty. Soon, Mark asks him to guard his soon-to-be bride as she travels home from Ireland on Mark's yacht. Tristan is jealous and hurt to learn that the object of his obsession is engaged. But the soldier in him is made to obey orders, and he goes to fetch Mark's bride for him. Isolde Lawrence is nothing like Tristan expected, however. Young, quiet, and sharp, she's being pushed into this marriage by her family. And as the two travel back to America, Tristan finds himself fascinated with Isolde and the glimpses he gets of the lonely but determined woman behind her reserve. And the fascination is mutual. One night while sailing under the cold stars, they share a searing kiss. From there, it's a fast fall into the forbidden. But in Mark Trevina's world, the fall is only the beginning. Oh my god, so this is obviously a retelling of Tristan and Isolde. So excited. I just need to blast through the other two books that I need to read before getting to this so I can get to this as soon as possible because this sounds amazing. And again, Sierra Simone, I think very, very highly of, especially when it comes to spice. So getting into the details of our exclusive Lux hardcover edition of Salt Kiss, we have, of course, this beautiful cover stenciled edges, reversible a dust jacket, and I actually might like this cover more than the other one, so I might switch my book to this cover. Beautiful foiled hardcover case, illustrated end papers. It is also signed by the author, and lastly our Lux hardcover edition Assault Kiss has an exclusive bonus scene. So looking forward to reading this book. And that is it for our adult October 2023 bookish box. Please be sure to like this video if you want to see me do more unboxings. Let me know your thoughts about the items in this box. If you were in love with anything, if you feel like bookish box really kind of stepped it up finally in this box compared to their last couple boxes. Have you read Salt Kiss? Have you read anything by Sierra Simone? I'd love to know. So drop comments below. I will respond to you as soon as I can and make sure you're subscribed to join me for more bookish fun. We're going to have more unboxings here on this channel. We're going to have more recaps coming out and then also some book reviews. Thanks so much, everyone.